I remember being really angry. Yeah. Like, I remember I saw red. That's the only time in my whole life <laughs> where I've been so angry. Uh, with me, I was like, nah, I'm never talking to this guy again. We just got into it. And what we do is we treat things as a materialistic object. So this, if I don't like this, I'm going to drink this. If I don't like this, I'm going to replace it. I'm going to say, I'm not having this again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now what happens is this mentality, we carry it to friendship and marriages. Yeah. Uh, you would cut yourself. You will cut your arm. For example, let's say you cut yourself and we'll join the blood together and we'll become Kardashian. Like we're blood brothers. Anything that you would change, one thing about me. You're not my wife, first of all. No, no, Secondly, I'm your friend. Yeah. Enjoy all of your favorites from Gifto's Lahore Karahi in the comfort of your home with just a click or a call. That's not all. We now offer free delivery for all orders over £100. Delivery available within a 10 mile radius with a £5 minimum charge for the first 5 miles and an additional £1.50 per mile thereafter. Enjoy a good day with a great meal at Gifto's. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, hope you guys are well inshallah So welcome to my channel, today I have Musa after a very very long time So this video is called why we fell out We're going to be talking, but we fell out a lot of times, not just once So um, we're going to be talking about that um, And if anyone's under the misconception that we fell out all that time We haven't been doing videos and now we have We'll clarify that as well So what we wanted to talk about brothers and sisters is friendship and brotherhood They say blood is thicker than water Well we say iman is thicker than blood So you have water Blood and Iman, yeah? So we're going to talk about them in gradual steps And talk about, as Muslims, like, sisters who are practicing or not practicing But the thing is, what does brotherhood and sisterhood really mean? And have we really understood that? And we're going to be telling you guys, inshallah, our personal experiences with each other as friends Because it's a real life example that we've been friends for about seven years So there's something we can talk It's not like, oh, we just, you know, some people just get married And be like, yeah, let me do a video giving you a nasi on how to have a successful marriage Yeah, okay yeah. So this is something, that's a, this is a relationship that's, that's been going on for about seven years uh, With all kinds of roller coasters, ups and downs and gunshots uh, Not literally <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, assalamu alaikum, how are you? Wa alaikum salam, alhamdulillah Very hey, good, um, yes We've got the... Half a meter distance. I think it's supposed to be two meters, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we, we, I guess yeah. this is good enough. Yeah, exactly. So let's talk about let's talk about how our friendship started. Okay. Yes. Where did, where did I meet you? I think I met you with um, brother Imran. Yeah, a time ago. Yeah, you met me at his house. Yes. We were, we were gonna go Paris. Yeah, that's. We were gonna go Paris. Yeah. And we did go Paris. Yes. And you met me at his house. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. That's what made you. I can remember. Masha was very young, and I think if not, your dad was when I was chill with you. Your dad would be like, "Why is this guy chilling with you?" Because <laughs> of the age gap. <laughs> my dad would ask me. He that was a bit later because yeah. I don't think we became close straight away. No, but it was not. like a, obviously. Yeah. But my dad would ask me, "Why did you? Why is this twenty-seven? However old you were, twenty-five year old." How old? I was like, I think I was twenty-three then. 20 yeah. Why is this guy chilling with you? Like, you were like sixteen. <laughs> you get why is this yeah. twenty-year-olds yeah. chilling with sixteen-year-olds? Yeah. But um. Yeah, yeah. Because I think with you, like you, you seem mature. Like for your age, you look mature, and I thought you seemed mature as well. But yeah, I think at the end of the day, it was you know, it's like if people get on, the, it, it just shows you, you know, it doesn't, and age doesn't really matter. You know, is this is even in friendship, you know, yeah. like as long as you're on the same level, of course. Obviously, I'm not gonna start going chilling with a twelve year old or thirteen year old. Did you get what I'm trying to say? If I'm like uh, twenty years old, something like that. So we had. Do you, do you ever remember like our first ever argument we had? I don't think I don't think no? so. Ah, I think I do actually. Yeah. I think I do. Yeah. You want me to mention what it was about? <laughs> if you want. Do you remember it? No. I think it was at Mello's house. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tell him. Yeah. So basically. Yeah. Um. There was there was there was. Ali at that time was, newly practicing. And I wasn't, I wasn't some sort of, uh, yeah. I didn't really, know, I didn't know much myself, yeah, right? Yeah. But it's a thing where like, um, basically Ali wasn't married, he was newly practicing, you you were, bro, beginners, like you, yeah. you, you would make like, very basic mistakes, yeah. like you were just beginning yeah. bro. Yeah. I remember you used to do this sometimes, and be like, touch wood, 
And I'm like, bro, I, 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 I didn't notice it initially. But then when I noticed, I was like, bro, what, what is that? Why do you keep doing that? And then I realized, bro, it's some like kufri, shirki yeah, thing yeah, or something, yeah. right? But um, that's what I'm saying. We didn't know we were just young. And we just wanted to do something good. Mm. You know, do some good deeds and yeah. stuff. So um, I remember you was online advising a sister mm. or a brother yeah. about their marriage oh. in the DMs. How was it? Yeah. <laughs> And I think you were saying like cut it off or don't you know yeah. you had this very militant kind of yeah. mindset with yeah. I think it's because of your previous experiences but yeah. you had this militant mindset about guys and whatnot and mm. what they're out to do yeah. and I I just adv- that was our first argument officially yeah, yeah. and I just advised you mm. and I said bro I don't think you should do that because mm. I don't think you're in a position to do that yeah I think with marriage it's a big thing yeah and I don't think you should be doing that mm. and that should also show the viewers something this is like a side note but it's a very quick one yeah. that um. Online, none of us are yeah. in a position where we can just talk. Yeah. You know, we have people that will pull us up. Yeah. We will pull each other up. Yeah. If Ali does something, I'll give him a phone call. Yeah. You know, we do it with, even with Muhammad Hijab, like yeah. we talk to each other. We have, we were talking about this today. Yeah. We have these conversations amongst each other and they get heated sometimes. Yeah. But like at that time, it got heated basically. I told you no, yeah. and I don't think you were having it. Yeah. And I talk, I'm taking our revenge from him with the marriage documentary. I said, I will talk about it. <laughs> yeah. But it was, that was basically our first yeah. one. So I that think. was our first argument. Now, what do you think a lot of people, like what I've noticed personally is relationship, like my friendship with you, Mohammed Hijab, different, different people in, in context and things that I've observed. One thing that I see is people easily, and this is a big trait that happens with marriage as well. We live in such comfort that we think, okay, we treat, what we do is we treat things as a materialistic object. So this, if I don't like this, I'm going to drink this. If I don't like this, I'm going to replace it. I'm going to say, I'm not having this again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now what happens is this mentality, we carry it to friendship and marriages. Yeah, this is a very big correlation. Yeah. Okay. This is one of the reasons I'm developing my personal app, which inshallah with people of knowledge as well. Because it's it's a big problem. This is just friendship we're talking about. Now, when it comes to marriages, marriages where you've got kids suffering, you've got families, you've yeah. got... And this is a family unit. Islam is there, the Sharia is there to protect the family unit. Yeah. That's why it's so harsh against adultery outside of marriage. You get it? Yeah. The punishment is so severe to protect the family unit. And we know the consequences of people who haven't had their father in their life, their mother in their life. Do you get it? So what we do is we treat friendship and marriage like that. I don't like it. I'll replace it, bro. You know, I'll get, or, or, or I'll get rid of it. I'll yeah. get rid of it. Simple as that. We do this with everything. Food we eat, the clothes that we wear, everything. I don't like it. I'll replace it. Now, what happens is with the friendship, we apply the same. Problems happening? Bun you, bro. I don't need you. Okay. Do you get it? Now, before I came to Islam, as from the Kurdish Turkish community, friendship is it's seen as something strong. Like it's something where you call each other. Says, there's a, a word called kanka. Yeah, it's like it means Khan Kardashian. Yeah, Khan Kardashian, that's where they, uh, they, they shortened it. Yeah, Sounds Khan good. means like my blood brother. You're my blood brother, even though you're not blood brother, but you say Khan Kardashian. Yeah? And some of them actually, uh, we used to actually, yeah, I just remember, we used to do this in, uh, in Jahiliya. Uh, you would cut yourself, you would cut your arm. It's for example, let's say you cut yourself and we'll join the blood together and we'll be Khan Kardashian. Like we're blood brothers. It was something silly. I just remember it now, Subhan. Something I forgot. Did you ever do that? I think I did that, yeah. And there might be a mark somewhere around here. Yeah, this is quite interesting. But you see, then the friendship was strong. Like sometimes, you know, you know, you know, you do whatever for your friend, yeah? Yeah. The thing with when it came to Islam, with Islam, it's greater than that, bro. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's brotherhood now. Yeah, this is brotherhood. This is why, for example, Nuh alayhi salam, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he said, like, save me and my family, when his son, when he was calling his son, and his son didn't come. What did he do? He said, oh Allah, like, you said you will save me and my family. And Allah, you know, um, what's that word? Re- rebuked the Prophet in a way where he said, look, if you don't want to be amongst the losers. What, was, what do we learn from this? We learn that your family is not the people who are transgressing against us. Your family are the ones of, who have Iman in, real, in reality. No, Allah okay. explicitly said that. He's, exactly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Min, yeah. he's, yeah. he's not from your family. Exactly. Allah explicitly said exactly. that. And, and he, because yeah. what and why? Because Allah says in the Quran, yeah. in Surah Hud, why? why? Yeah. Allah gave a reason as well. Yeah. Why is he not from your family? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, غير صالح, that his actions, yeah. right? If I quoted the ayah correctly, his mm. actions mm. were not righteous actions. Yes. That's why he's not from your family. Exactly. Yeah. So do you see where Allah is telling us the importance of that? So be Abu Bakr and Umar ibn Khattab, they had disputes as well. So one thing that we think is that in friendship there's going to be no disputes. We apply the same thing in marriage yeah. and it fails because yeah. we're like, yeah. the, you're supposed to, the, the, the heated discussion, 
problems that we had, some of them are were peak, which we're going to come to. But one thing that I was coming to is actually sometimes we see friendship in Islam, which is sad. We see as Muslims, we don't really tr- treat it as friendship. Anything, I have a problem with you, this, that, burn you. I never seen any good from him. You know this guy start talking behind him. And you think, how the billah? Like first, you're a believer, bro. Backbiting is a sin. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you can get angry. Okay, we understand. But the thing is to dismiss somebody immediately, bro. I see this trait with a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Person was Muslims. Yeah? yeah. I see this a lot. Just easily disregard. I never seen any good from him. Finish. Good. He's like this anyways. He's like that anyways. And then you think, wow. So all of this time you've been thinking like that. Yeah. Do, don't yeah. you think? Do you not see that? I see it bro I see it And, and, and I feel like um, Bro It's a real thing Akhi. It's a real thing Where it's like If it wasn't for Islam I don't believe even us We would be friends And yeah. I think we're very close Alhamdulillah yeah. Like yeah. Uh, I don't think I have another friend Even yeah. some of my other close friends I don't have this relationship with yeah. them Where yeah. I can just walk them into my house Yeah, It's not yeah. like that Even with them Yeah I think maybe you're one of the only people I can mm. do that with. If yeah. there's anyone else, even that's not coming to my head, yeah. honestly, yeah. and I'm not just saying that. Yeah. Uh, so like even with me, I can say the same to you. I can say with you're the only one that yeah. when I'm angry, I yeah. will f- go full out on you like with my little <laughs> brother. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that you might yeah. see that as right. This guy and I see as you know what, like my relationship with you is so much that I can go really angry, but, and you do that with me as well. Sometimes. But this is the thing. There was a time where I thought ban this guy. Yeah. But the thing is now. Yeah, there was time I thought Bun this guy down yeah. <laughs> no, I, It was, it was I'm yeah, sure it was yeah, yeah. But yeah. the thing is What's beautiful about Islam yeah. And I think this is why This video is so important mm. What's beautiful about Islam Is that it, it teaches you To look past that yeah. Because a lot of people This is why a lot of friendships They end Yes You see this is why A lot of friendships They end mm. And Islam also Like encourages you To end friendships For the sake of Allah Yes But the point is That friendships When they're based on the, For the sake of Allah yeah. The little petty arguments That you have with your friends, yeah. which are not reasons to end a friendship, yeah. they keep your friendship together. The th- for yeah. the sake of Allah, thing keeps your friendship together, yeah. and it makes it stronger, and it makes exactly. it more loyal, and it makes it. That's bro, exactly. you get it? like Sa- for the sake loving for the sake of Allah is a concept I never understood in yeah. the first couple of years of Islam. Neither did I until the penny dropped from because yeah. when you love someone for the sake of Allah, it's un. Conditional, unconditional. or you try to make unconditional yeah. because with friendship, you can get stuff like you know, it could be like a form of you can have a riba interest, it's based on you can something, have a uh, you can have a, a riba friendship, meaning yeah. you do something okay, I'll do this in return or something. Do you get it? It's like a form of riba, like you're, and, you're it's, and that thing can also be feelings, by the way, exactly, exactly. It doesn't need to be something tangible, no, exactly. But that's what it, I'm it saying, it can be the way someone makes you feel, and yes. as soon as you stop feeling like that, yeah, halas, you cut that person exactly. Off. So, when we talk about um, loving for the sake of Allah. You're doing, you're saying, I am getting you this for the sake of Allah. I don't want anything in return. If you say thank you to me, no. If you come to me later and say, you know what, bruv, you are the dirt of this earth. I'll say, you know what, you know when I bought you that? Well, I have no regrets. I'm not going to come and say, you know what, bruv, I know, I wish I ever know. Look how ungrateful. Oh, so you didn't do it for the sake of Allah. Mm. It was you did something and now because you have a dispute, or let's suppose he wrongs you. If you're doing it for the sake of Allah, you are not going to be, because some people come and say to him, bro, you did this and this to this person. But look how he treated you. I go, okay, okay, what's your point? No, no, okay, what, what's your point? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, what's your point? Oh, you know what? Because so, so, some people like come and say, okay, you know what? This person said this about you. Okay, what's your point, brother? Let's, let's suppose he said that. Okay, he said that. All right. What's, what's the point? Okay, if I've, if I've done what I've done for the sake of Allah, Aki, he can call me wherever he likes. He can beat me up. Irrelevant. Exactly. So that's why it's important for us to have that and not dismiss each other. Okay, you know what? Right, let me be friends with him because I have some gain out of him. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah. Or oh, I need him for this. This is fake. This is not friendship, let alone brotherhood. Let alone brotherhood in Islam. Do you have brotherhood? People have brotherhood. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, you have different people. Different. I'm not talking about Ikhwan Muslim, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> people have brotherhood. Yeah? yeah. But we're talking about in Islam, bro. Friends don't do that. Let alone people have brotherhood. Yeah. Non Muslims have brotherhood. But in Islam, you don't do that. And I think we should get rid of this habit. If you have a friend that you fell out with, not talk to. Seriously, man. Firstly, look, is it that deep? Okay. Is it that deep? If it's not, look, overcome it. Me and Musa, <coughs> we've had our up and downs. Yeah, there's times because the thing is, I believe our personalities sometimes clash. Yeah, and that's something major. But most people in a marriage, if that was like thing, toxic. But I can't be around this guy. Do you get it? Mm. But the thing is, there's ways of going about it. Do you get it? Why do you have to cut it from the root? You know, there's ways about going going about. It. Sometimes I do things where I know it. <laughs> yeah. With you, you just like, like you can see, bro, your color, your face. You just flip, and then when you see, when I see you flip, I'm like, 
why is this guy flipping? And I'll, I'll start flipping. It was so much so that we had this, what, three, four, five months ago in Zishan's house. It was the Smarter oh, Janice's yeah, house, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah? And we had the, like, a big, like, literally, like, uh, that day I was, I was like, you know what, enough. Like, when I'm enough, I never said I'm not going to talk to him, but I said, you know what, I'm going to change my stance with this guy, yeah? Because it seems like this guy's taking the mick. Do you get it? Like, look at, like, I'm older than him as well, yeah? Like, you have, forget friendship, you, you respect me for, I'm older than you, yeah? I, was, I just went on a bit. I said, you know what, now, nah, not only him, I said, bare people. I think it's, I, I blamed myself. I said, you know what, I think I, I'm, I'm being too kind. People taking my kindness for witness, all the stuff were going through my head. I sent you an audio note, and I said, look, you know what, from now on, I never said I'm ending my friendship. I said, look, I'm going to keep a certain da da da, etc. Do you get it? But I can't, because around you, I can't, I just end up being myself. <laughs> you try to, but you just can't. But that was one time. It was so much so that Zishan messaged me after you done that uh, post on Instagram. Like yeah? a week ago. Yeah, a week ago. You he spoke it. to me as well. <laughs> so oh, this, oh, 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 actually, it was you. To, no, you I told you. Me. I told you. You told me. You so this is a screenshot. Yeah, you can see it. So he's like, oh, it's good you guys patched up things. Yeah. So in his head, he's thinking. Even me, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. What? He's thinking yeah. five, six months ago. To now we haven't spoken. No, well, I'm not and like we that just we just made up now because see see and I told him bro we we, we saw it that like a week or something like, nah, like something. not even a week, I think yeah, two yeah. days, a day. Yeah, bro. yeah, exactly. We said But we went home together. Yeah, 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 exactly. No, that's what I'm saying, well, bro. We come on. on the way home, bro. If, what it's the argument like we that. had, like I'm being I just said look, let's agree to disagree. Yeah. By the way, I still stand by what I said. Yeah, yeah, no, right? that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. The, and so, and now this yeah. is the thing, right? This is the thing. Um by the way, our, our arguments are often not over petty things. It's yeah. not like, oh, yeah, why yeah. did you do this? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's also another thing that I think we should mention. Yeah. I think nearly every argument we've had it yeah. has been about the doubt. Yes. And that shows something. Yeah. Even that one was yeah. about some... It, that was a bit more no, of a personal that, that one. That was a bit personal. Yeah. 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 But it's, it was to do with the deen, right? Yeah. In a way, yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah. But, but this is the thing now. I think I think what we need to understand from... from all, I don't know if you're going to mention examples. Are you going to mention examples? Or? Yeah, you can mention examples. But like... For example, there was a time where we were... There was the whole Tommy Robinson thing going on. Yeah. I've got very strong opinions about um, things that happen online. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with certain things. I don't agree with uh, being um, overtly focused on one individual or mm -hmm. one group and making your whole YouTube channel about that. And I'll say this even on your channel, bro. Mm -hmm. I know this is going on your yeah. channel, but this is just me, bro. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Like, I don't... Like even I was talking to you about today About another yeah, brother I was yeah. saying bro We need to chat to him Why is he yeah. focusing so much On these people yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get it? Yeah <laughs> Okay Boy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Do you get it? Like, yeah. and, and we chat to him bro yeah, yeah. Do you get it? Like, so it's, but we love each other And yeah. it's genuine love bro yeah. When we see each other It's yeah. love bro Do you get it? Mm. I know that you guys would mm. you, That's how it is bro yeah. But our conversations About the Dawah I have yeah. very strong views So like at that time uh, we were doing I was I was doing Salam as well Right yeah. And um, Salam was different At that time yeah, as well It yeah. was yeah, Different dynamics going on yeah. So basically Was hijab there? No he was supposed to I think he came I think after. he came after yeah, yeah, He I came afterwards after. He came afterwards yeah. But basically what happens is That it was me and you there And I, I, I was I was setting up Like a, a banner And our yeah. Tent and stuff like that In my yeah. to, to For us to give dawah yeah. Right So what happens is Ali um, at that time was very focused on the whole Tommy Robinson thing, yeah, yeah. right? Far right, yeah. Which I didn't agree with in the first place. Yeah. Like, but, but your dad said specifically, stay like leave them now. Yeah, as in like because yeah. because you had been going on them for a long time yeah, now, yeah. and I I just have the mentality, yeah, that, خلاص, give yeah. your da'wah, you don't need to cling on to people. Yeah. That was my thing, yeah. right? Now, with you, what happened is some girl I don't know who she is yet. Yeah, Lauren Southern, yeah. Yeah, she came. And she started picking. She's got some big following as well, apparently, yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. And she's from that that far right kind of group, yeah. right? Yeah. She starts speaking to you now, and you went to speak to her. Yeah. Now I don't know after that what happened, yeah. and I'll tell you why. Because basically, I just remember feeling. Imraj was there, I think. Yeah. I remember being really angry. Yeah. Like I remember, I saw red. That's the only time. <laughs> That in my whole life Where I've been so angry Because I was Because brother says I was frustrated Like we're yeah. here trying to give da'wah We're here And there's these far right guys coming yeah, And we're yeah. just getting Sidetracked yeah, That's yeah. how I saw yeah, it yeah, Right yeah. So I, I don't know what I said to you I don't know what yeah, I done Yeah, yeah But I, I think I said something to yeah. you Yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
And yeah. Was, no, the thing is with me, they like I was told like leave these guys now because they're diverting that way, etc. I said okay, no problem. But he just went off, and and the way I saw it is I'm holding this. It was windy. I still remember it was windy. I was windy. helping you. Don't try it, bro. Yeah. I was helping you. What happened is I'm carrying annoyed, I'm bro. carrying water bottles. What's this? And then Lauren Southern, someone I was making du'a to Allah to bring. Let me come across this. Let See, me across this. I was saying because she's lying against them. Yeah. I'm carrying water bottles, and then you, who do I see in front of me? Lauren Southern. And, and can I speak to you? I was like, look, I'm thinking in my head, yeah. So, pal, look at the timing. We start at nine, and these guys are telling me, look, leave them. And I'm like, okay, look, from now on, I'm leaving it. I'm not. I'm leaving it. Then she pops right in front of me, and I said, look, we're doing a campaign. You can hold themselves. Yeah. No, 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 no. Listen, <laughs> I said, come. You can come and have a bottle of water. Except you can come. And you can come there. I said, I'm, I'm going to be there because I'm busy right now. Yeah, because I realized. And I thought if they come, I gave them some of these dates that we had or some cookie thing. Try yeah. to break ice, etc. And then when I realized they want to talk, I said, look. I said, he was saying, look, bro, you talk. I said, Musa, they came here. They came. I said, if you want to at least come here because I'm not going to talk to you guys like that. So they came and they talked, etc. And then they went there. And I said, look, I think I, I spoke to your dad or something like that. There was a back and I think he kind of gave me permission or something along those lines. I can't remember. He briefly said, "Look, if you are, go there or something like that." And then, but anyway, I don't, I don't think he was there at that time. I think he came. I can't remember. Well, I, can't I remember. think it was just me, you, and Emrah. Yeah, there yeah. At that time, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think your dad came after. I can't remember. But anyway, I don't know what happened. Yeah, we just yeah, got into yeah. It. But I just, uh, me, I was like, no, nah, I'm never talking to this guy again. We just yeah. got into it, and I was like, look, yeah. bro, this is craziness. Like, yeah. according to me, yeah, because. A person's w- w- mind works in a specific yeah. way and they have yeah. certain things in their mind. Yeah. I was thinking, this is Junoon, this is madness. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> and I lost it. Yeah. It didn't justify the way I lost it. I lost it completely. Yeah. I was like, yeah. well, uh, and even us, alhamdulillah, yeah, yeah. there is never, and this is one thing that I have to mention, bro, yeah. by the way, for yeah. benefit. This is something I have to mention for benefit. Yeah. We've gotten into it where we've seen, I saw red. Because yeah. uh, I remember <laughs> I, I don't, I, You know when they show in movies Like people get angry And they just yeah. go red Not that we watch movies yeah. and whatnot But you know I'm giving an example yeah. Or in cartoons It yeah. goes red Bro I remember it's like I remember blacking out like, mm. Looking at you like This guy Like <laughs> This guy Has annoyed me For so long About this yeah, yeah. Into Al Amr I'm going for you now yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And I don't know what I said to you But One thing that I will mention here mm. Not one of the arguments we've had Yeah in all of our years of friendship, mm. where we've ever become abusive to each other, yeah. where we've ever sworn at each other, yeah. where we've ever hit each other, yeah. it's never, never, not even yeah. swearing at each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah and true. you correct me if I'm wrong. No, it's true. It's true. We've never done that. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Are, are you just smiling for a reason? No, it's true. No, we've it's never. we thinking about it. It's true. Yeah. We, we've never done. And I just thought about that now. That yeah. wasn't a planned point, by the way. Yeah. I just remembered that now. Yeah. And that that is because. With with because with, I don't want the reason I'm mentioning is some people may listen to this and think oh oh it's normal what happens with me and my friends when we swear at each yeah, other no, no, it's no, not normal no, no, no. and this is the thing I so I remember I spoke to one brother in his marriage yeah. and he asked me for advice mm. a friend of mine and I said to him don't swear Achi it's not normal to swear in your marriage yeah, yeah. and he said it's it's normal to swear bro couple mm, swear nah. and I said to him nah, it's funny. normal according to you there's a practicing brother because you've made it normal yes I said you have to be so strict on yourself. Where you don't swear at your wife. No, you never, don't swear. Bro, Even bro, when you the, get angry, you don't bro, swear. The moment you swear, respect is going down from there. Because if you can start calling each other names, bro, th- that means the respect from there is down. Alhamdulillah, I, I, I can... And, and I don't think it's a big deal to say it. That's why I'm going to say it. Mm. I don't swear. I don't swear, full stop. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. It's not something yeah. in my vocabulary. Exactly. I, you don't swear. Yeah. I, I know that because I've been around you. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So it's a thing where like, you, you need to understand that even though... Arguments we're talking about mm-hmm. are aggressive one for the da'wah, yeah. but they're also we're not even abusing each other. Yeah. But we were just I, I think at that point in time we just agreed that okay let's just yeah no from that was the let's only just stop moment talking to that was other. the only moment where I said you know what I'm not talking but that's the heat of the moment I said I'm not speaking. No, let me ask him. you a question, bro. Yeah? yeah. Um, I believe I caused that argument. Yeah, I believe I caused it because of yeah. what I said. Yeah. Oh yeah, one thing, one thing that I really like love about you as a friend is that when you acknowledge your mistake, you say it. This one thing that I've realized, and this is one thing I can say, is a key to successful marriage and friendship, is that you don't have this ego. It's that look, you know what, bro? You call and be like, you know, what? I was wrong. You have moments where you shine, like when I'm in shine. I'm not saying you know shine bright like a diamond. I'm talking about shine, like you're mad, you lose it, yeah. But then you have your moments you just calm down. No, and, and then, then and no. then and then you say, Bro, if I have do you get it? And I think that's so fundamental. 
Bro, you have to, uh, and, and you know in your relationships, I think yeah. with marriage, with friendship, with brotherhood, sisterhood, you have to drop the ego. Yes. You, you have, have to, you can't have an yeah. ego. Yeah, yeah, forget You know, and this is, not, subhanAllah, this is an Islamic concept, one, but two, there's books you can read on this by non-Muslims. Yeah. You know, like, uh, what's his name? Ryan Holiday wrote a book called Ego is the Enemy. Mm. The title is Ego is the Enemy. Yeah. It's a book about how ego is going to mess you up. Yeah. You have ego, it's going to mess you yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and the thing is, from an Islamic perspective, yeah. ego is not a good thing. So, in your relationships, it's like a chilled vibe anyway. But like ego yeah. is, an, is, 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 is an enemy of yours. Yes. Yeah? So, what you have to understand is that in your relationships, you can't have ego. You know, Ali, one of the things that gets to me yeah, mm. is when people treat Islam like, like a theoretical thing. Yeah. And I've seen this in a lot of people. May Allah mm. protect us from it. Mm, yeah. People treat Islam like something of theory. Mm. So when they're actually in a situation mm. and they know what Islam says, they won't act by it. They yeah. won't. Yeah. They'll be like, but, but I'm like, Islam is for that situation. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. Like, it's, Islam isn't, like, for example, when the Prophet ﷺ spoke about arrogance or, Sorry. you know, or, or spoke about bad traits of people, yeah. jealousy, hasad. He's not speaking about that in ideal situations. Yeah. It's it's in situations that exactly. maybe can get rough. Yeah. Don't have arrogance. When when Allah says in the Quran, uh, uh, When Allah says when the Ibadul Rahman yeah. in Surah Furqan, one of the traits of the slaves of Rahman yeah. is that. وَإِذَا خَاطَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامًا When someone comes to them with jahiliya, yeah. with ignorance, swearing at you, yeah. abusing you, etc. What do they say? قَالُوا mm. سَلَامًا They say salam. Yeah. Now, someone may come and say, Akhi, I was angry. Akhi, you have to understand, bro. Mm. I reacted like this. Of course, I had to swear at you. Akhi, mm. you was doing that to me. <laughs> of course, I have to. Yeah, bro, that's not Islam. Yeah. Islam is, وَإِذَا خَاطَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامًا yeah. When someone comes to you with jahiliya, Mm. Okay, khalas. May Allah bless you, Akhi. Salam yeah. And from a genuine place, mm. and then you leave it. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's it's fine. That's how it is. And people like, are idealistic, bro. They yeah. think that these situations are for ideal. No. No, man. They, of course not. You know, this They're is idealistic. Why this this happened with you know the best of people, um, and to be honest with me, like even there's some people are going to be like, there's some people. Look, we speak to people. They think that we don't speak to, which we have kind of in the public sphere fallen out with. Yeah. yeah, we speak. I'll be honest with you. I speak. People yeah. think if I see some people that that we have disagreements yeah, with, yeah. that we believe should repent for some yeah, things. Yeah, yeah that we yeah, believe these yeah, things. Yeah. But people think, yeah. if we see them on the street, it's on site. Yeah, 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 we we. Yeah. It's not like that, bro. Yeah, we're yeah. not gangsters, bro. Yeah. Like we we just exactly. bro- brothers. No, we, speak. we speak. So it's like we'll say salam, salam alaikum, yeah. How are you? How's yeah. the family? No, okay. we speak. We we'll speak. Like you know, certain people speak with me. It's, uh, it will take a lot You'd have to do something major Personally to me For me not to speak to you Most of the times I've fallen out with certain Like brothers Is because of the injustice That I believe They have made others suffer I think this is me, from an Islamic it's, perspective it's, it's personally for me It's like look It's nothing you've done to, done to me Because if I look at these brothers MashaAllah Like they've done a lot for me In my personal life Do you get what I'm trying to say And I, I, I will testify to Allah And I make dua for them But it's the injustice Which they've done to others Maybe not even intentionally but when I see that, is that when I've done that? Do you get what I'm trying to say? So th- th- that's it, man. I don't know. Is there anything else? Is there anything? Uh, let's end it on this. Is there anything that you would change one thing about me? If there was one thing you would change about me, besides my looks, <laughs> I don't. You're not my wife, first of all. No, no Secondly, I'm your, I'm your friend. Yeah. I, there's nothing I would change about you. Whoa. Subhanallah. You're gonna make me cry now. I, I don't think I'd change anything about you. Oh, I wouldn't change anything about I, you I agree with you <laughs> I wouldn't change anything about you Because It's fine bro You get it Like I accept you for For, for the Problematic person that you are <laughs> If you would like to friend me please. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't change anything about you bro I think you're a very genuine person I'm not just saying that Because you're here But Inshallah. I think that um, You haven't changed um, With your online persona That really happens And I hope that you don't I hope that you know that I don't care if you've got four hundred thousand yeah. subscribers. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't care. Say that again, Musa. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't care honestly. And we've had like, cause look, and I think that that's maybe I don't know if it makes you realize this, but maybe that makes you think of me as genuine as well. Yeah. Because some friends are here. They hang around people. They want to get close to people, which is something I don't understand yeah. to benefit from them. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. In the the amount of yeah. people that we've met, even being in the dawah, yeah, who are financially, mashallah, well yeah. off and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, we could literally like mm-hmm. 
be their best friends mm. just for the sake of money. But, but that's 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 how it needs to be, bro. Look, the thing is, you need to understand. You have to be real with yourself. Yeah. With me, there's been people in my life where, like, bro, like. They had so much to offer. Like in the context, I can say monetary. Of them, don't you? Yeah. Bro, monetary. Yeah. That I have said, you know what, brother? I'm so sorry. I'm seeing what I'm gaining here and what I'm about to lose. But if I'm going to look at myself in the mirror and be like, you didn't speak out getting this injustice because of this. How can I live with myself? How, how fake can you be that I'm going to turn a blind eye to an oppression because I have monetary gain from here? Sorry. So the thing is, brothers and sisters, be real to yourself. Don't be fake. Wallahi. None with your friends be sincere. And let me tell you something. You know? Allah has a sunnah. Yeah. Physical laws, guarantee. That's a physical law. There's metaphysical laws Allah's put in place. Yeah? There is metaphysical laws Allah's put in place. Just in this gravity, there's metaphysical laws. If you apply them, Wallah, you'll be successful. Wallah, and I'm, believe me, I've seen it, I've applied it, and I haven't lost anything. I haven't lost anything, brother. Yeah. So it's very important, brothers and sisters, for us to acknowledge that and have true friendship. If you're having a friendship, wallahi, and you're using somebody, you're just fooling yourself. Well, I should tell you, because you know what? Allah's sunnah will apply. That metaphysical law, you're using them, it'll be only to your detriment. It'll be to your detriment. Look, because that person wouldn't lose anything. Anything that you do, um, you know, Allah says in the Quran, this is the last thing I'll say. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu dukhulu fi silmi kafa, wa la tattabi'u khutawati shaytani, innahu lakum adu mubin. Very famous ayah. You might may hear it on Jumu'ahs, mm. right? Allah says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, O you who believe, Udukhulu fi silmi kafa. Enter into submission completely. Kafa, completely. Mm-hmm. Com- Allah is not saying 90%, completely. Wala tattabi'u khutuwati shaytan, innahu lakum aduun mubeen. And don't follow the footsteps of shaytan. Mm-hmm. He is to you a clear enemy, mm-hmm. right? There's a book that I'm reading, and in it the author mentions that if you enter into submission 90%, you will harm yourself. Yeah. If you enter in sub- into submission, 95%, you will harm yourself. Mm. 99%, this is the point that is expressed in the book, yeah. right? 99%, you will harm yourself. Yeah. You have to, udukhulu fi silmi kafa. That's it. Mm. You have to enter completely. Yeah. What that means is, with your relationships, they need to be for the sake of Allah. Yeah. And, and you'll see this, bro. Yeah. Look at it in terms of your life. Are you in complete submission in all of your life? Yeah. In the areas where you're not, you're suffering. And you'll say it yourself. Mm. If you're wronging yourself, if you're wronging Allah's laws, you haven't entered in submission completely. Mm. Part of Allah's laws is that you need to do things for His sake. You need to be in friendships for His sake. Yeah. You need to not be in friendships for the sake of other, for, for monetary things. Mm. If you're doing that, then there, there's not going to be blessings in that. You wouldn't. And the yeah. thing is, bro, one... And that's how Ali, people who've been friends for, sorry, one last... Yeah. They've been friends for 10 years, mm. and they stop. Mm. 10 years, 15 years, they've been friends for. And they stop, and yeah. they don't talk to each other ever again. Mm. You know? And this is a problem. Mm. You need to be friends for the sake of Allah. And mm. what, is that? what does Allah say in the Quran? Wala bainakum. Don't forget the fadl between you. Don't forget the virtue that you had between oh, you. Yeah, that's very interesting. This is a beautiful ayah. I heard this someone. Did you? Did you yeah, I mentioned it? it to you the other day. Yeah, yeah, I remember. And by the way, this is about the Monday classes of Ustad Jamal, which I'm personally dedicated. I'm taking Mondays off. Obviously, we got quarantine, so they've been off. Yeah, but, yeah, but in ELM. Let me tell you how he explained it. Yeah. I was blown away. I was like. And please just elaborate on that a little bit The, the, the favours um. So w- one of the things that we've learned from our teacher Is that yeah. you should use the Quran as maxims in your life yeah. Don't just read the Quran and put yeah. it on the shelf yeah. Memorise parts, portions of the Quran Even if you're not going to do all of it You should have the goal to memorise all of it But like memorise portions yeah. And just use them as maxims So this is one portion I memorise yeah. If I have a problem with you now yeah. I should remember that Don't remember the virtue that you had Between you and Ali Apply it to yourself Don't remember don't forget the virtue Don't forget the good times Don't forget when you went That's On holiday do, together yeah, exactly. In Dubai I remember that to this day yeah. That holiday we went in yeah. Dubai How beautiful it was How nice yeah. it was yeah. So yeah basically guys So th- that's what happens When any kind of fallout happens What we do is We automatically go to All the negative things And if you think about it The good outweighs the bad Yeah But we pick on Okay no he did this He did that Is it worth dismissing someone And your friendship Just because of one thing That they, that they did And you need to ask yourself is that person intentionally doing it to hurt you? If you're a friend, look, seriously, you need to ask yourself a question. Okay, he did something to hurt me. If that is intentional, then you need to question, okay, look, why are you doing something to hurt me? Is it intentional? If this is your friend, it shouldn't be intentional. Yeah? So you need to speak and communication is key. Shall I tell you something? Another issue that destroys marriages and friendships is WhatsApp. Well, I have seen so many arguments. 
Oh, I thought you meant like this. I said, yeah, oh, I don't wait, do that anymore, bro, man. Bro, trust me. I don't do that anymore. Speak on the phone. I, w- I was having a conversation with someone the other day and I just That's called it. Uh, you d- don't do that. That's no, just, no, no. But I'm telling yeah. you, speak on in person. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Anything else? Um, I was just going to say one last thing, yes. yeah, which is that Allah says in the Quran about how people on Yom Al-Qiyamah, yeah. they will be to each other enemies. Yeah. They will be to each other enemies. And Allah, but Allah makes a distinction. He says, "Except mm. the muttaqun, yeah. the God conscious." Yeah. So that shows you yeah. that everyone's gonna be enemies to each other. You're gonna be my enemy if yeah. this isn't, if we aren't God conscious. Yeah. So we need to be God conscious. We need yes. to have taqwa. And part of having taqwa, of course, would be to mm. be to do things for the sake of Allah. Exactly. So do your friendships for the for the sake of Allah. Exactly. That's exactly. It. Brothers and sisters, may Allah bless you guys. Hope you guys benefited from this. Inshallah. And if you've got friends that you fell out with. Make up, inshallah. Yeah, that's uh, a good, that's an important point, yes, bro. You point should, bro. You should make up, watch this video together, inshallah. It's not that deep, inshallah. And try your best to love each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah keep our friendship with our friends um, strong in this life and the hereafter, brothers and sisters, inshallah. And may Allah, inshallah, unite us in Jannah together. That is the real aim and objective of what we're doing here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you like this video, want similar videos, anything to do with that real talk like that, comment. We might just... How are you doing it? You never know. You can just do it again, inshallah. Goodbye. Assalamu alaikum.